Hello everybody and welcome to CONFAB, a journey through the wonderful world of language construction led by somebody entirely unqualified to talk about the subject. I'm Aiden Wood and today I'm going to be sharing a concept for an orthography I developed for the fictional world I talked about like way back in episode 2. I don't think I'm ever going to really flesh this out into a fully functional system, um, just because I don't have the time um, and I'm also working on another language right now, um, but um, I did have like a lot of ideas about it and they were really exciting so I wanted to make a video anyway to sort of process some of those thoughts. I'm not personally attached to this system in any way. Um, so if it inspires you any way, shape, or form, um, feel free to run with it. It's officially an open source orthography. Basically, this is an ideographic writing system that uses beads as glyphs. Long strings of beads form sentences or even complete stories. Um, each bead represents a word, and the color, size, shape, texture, material of the bead gives clues as to its meaning. For example, um, a large gray bead with a sort of rough texture could be the symbol for mountain. Um, or maybe a bead that's made out of a particular material that's specific to like a location, like a rare material, could um, be like the bead that represents that location. This writing system developed um, at a trading port, a bustling trading port, on a land that was notable for having these enormous clay deposits that allowed beadwork to proliferate. Um, and the writing system developed due to the intersection of a few different cultural trends, specifically in the areas of art, religion, and business. I felt like it was important to have the writing system develop um, due to advancements in a few different areas, a few different cultural spheres, um, in order for the system to like proliferate throughout the entire culture. So for starters, artists who specialize in beadwork began um, making like signature or trademark beads where they basically like at the end of a necklace or another piece they would attach their um, trademark beads that people would know who made it. Then artists began incorporating a few more beads after their signature beads to indicate when the piece was made. For example, three large pink beads in a row would indicate that the piece was made in the third era, followed by two small yellow beads and a blue bead to signify the 21st year, and then one large green bead that represented spring. So like this hypothetical necklace was made in the spring of the 21st year of the third era. So meanwhile, beads began being used for counting, sort of similar to the way an abacus would be used or the kipu knot system of South America, and I'll link to information on both of those systems in the description of this video. I'm not really like a numbers person, um, I'm not like super good at arithmetic, so I haven't fleshed out this system thoroughly, um, but I thought it was really critical to have some element of the business world incorporated in this because that's something that people like obviously need in their daily life, so having a way of tying beads into that part of um, the cultural sphere um, seemed like a great way to have it proliferate and evolve into something a bit more. So finally, beads began being used for ceremonial purposes and like religious ceremonies, sort of similar to the way like rosary beads would be used in Catholicism. So in this religious sense, um, these beads would be used to tell like religious stories. So for example, like if you wanted like a, a string to represent the story of Moses, uh, or maybe like Moses freeing the Jewish people from um, Egypt, you could have like um, 10 beads in a row, each one of which signified like a different plague. I have this like image in my mind of like a parent sitting with a child on their lap and like going through like a set of beads as a way of like teaching them the stories, you know? Huh? I don't know. I thought that was like really pretty or like a really nice mental Should image. Should I stop that? Huh? Should I stop that? Are they going into the closet? She was trying to. Yeah, you should stop that. <laughs> Please. I don't need them tearing up my clothes to make nesting material. Anyways, eventually this developed into like an actual legitimate orthography with bead symbols that like were standardized um, and abstractified a bit, sort of like the way you have with kanji characters. But I think that the system would only have lasted for like a few hundred years because again this is located at a trading port and although the system makes more sense for like um, this group of people that are like living in a land with the clay deposits that have like this very vibrant artistic scene um, that can supply the demand for like tons of beads. Um, I don't think that, like, it's, it's not something that's accessible to most people, and so eventually they would have had to adapt out of that system and, um, like, like, adapt to other systems, and so this writing system fell out of use, but, but I still think that it would hang around, kind of like the way we still have, like, Roman numerals or, um, really, like, fancy calligraphy and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyways, that's all I have for this particular- here, don't shoot. Don't choose the audio cord. Anyways, that's all I have for this particular video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or thoughts about the system, you can leave it in the comments below, um, or you can message me at confabconlang.tumblr.com, 
I'm on Reddit, uh, Stargazer AAW, and I'm on Con Workshop now. Um, at I'm just Aiden Wood there. Um, and also, if you have any like other writing systems that you think are interesting or unique, whether it's like a conlang system um, or a natural system, um, please feel free to like let me know. Just shoot it my way. I'm always whew, I'm always looking for inspiration. Um, yeah. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I wish you the best of luck in your conlang journey. Bye.